Okay, so you want to ask me a food? Uh, yeah, Sharonda, how did... When was the first time you cooked on your own? And where did you get the confidence to cook on your own? The first time I cooked on my own, I think I was 11 years old. Well, backstory is I've always cooked alongside my grandmother. I just told um, Shaquan this. I had an Easy Bake Oven and I made egg custard pie. I was five years old and I would put put the, the, the um, pan in the oven with my grandma with the big mittens on. And so then I just started cooking, trying out things. I always been interested in what food, what was in the food. Like, um, I loved meatloaf, but something was like dry about my mom's meatloaf, so I would try to figure out what I need to do <laughs> and stuff. So I perfected the meatloaf at about, probably about 12. Um, what was it that you found out it you needed it. Then how did you so, figure that out? Yeah, so um, she had she used to add two eggs, so I added another egg, uh, and then okay. I had toasted um, bread, and I crumbled it up, and then I put some A1 steak sauce in, it. <laughs> and then I put some onion soup mixed in it, and then I mixed it all together, and I shaped it, and then I put it in the oven, and then after that I put the spaghetti sauce on it. And then I, um, and, and the little parsley flakes and stuff, uh -huh. and voila. And uh -huh. I used ground turkey. Uh -huh. I don't use ground beef. Okay. So, yeah, that was one of the things. Um, and then when I was 16 years old, in high school, I took food service. Uh -huh. So, we used to have to write notes and recipes and stuff, and I never would do it. So, I got, the first semester, I got a D. So... The second semester, I helped her like cook for like the teachers' things and stuff like that. It was only two of us that knew how to cook, and we was in the same group. So we used to take other people food. Like we had helped them cook it, and then we had to take some of their food because we didn't help them cook it. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so uh, we cooked for the events and stuff like that. So I I wrote one recipe down and one note, and she gave me a B. Cause uh -huh. I did the, cause I cooked for, uh -huh. and she used to always <laughs> Sharon to come cook for me and uh -huh. stuff. And then she found out my grandmother had a garden, and she told me, give me some rhubarb, cause I told her my grandma had rhubarb. Uh -huh. I was her best student from then <laughs> on. <laughs> uh -huh. And so, talk a little bit more about your grandmother and learning under your grandmother. You yes. talked about being at her side yes. a lot in the kitchen. Yes. Because my grandmother, um, she. She did it with her grandmother. She said, like, her mom was real tight with food, but they knew on Sundays at the church they was going to go to their grandmother's house and eat good. And she used to bake cakes and stuff with them, and they used to eat the batter and stuff. And she did that with us, with the, with the ice cream, the homemade ice cream and the cakes and stuff. We wow. would eat the batter. And so she did it with my daughter. My, she brought me my first mixer at 10. She bought my wow. daughter her first mixer at 10. That's amazing. She cooked with us. She cooked with my with my, my daughter. Uh -huh. She cooked with, with my um, other nieces and nephews and stuff. We, she all, we always cooked because that's the way she grew up. Uh -huh. She knew, like, her her um, her um home life was, was kind of, uh -huh. you know, disarrayed. But her grandmother was that rock, and wow. she passed that down to us. So that's like... <laughs> Her grandmother, so that's like your great great, great grandmother. Yes. And with your daughter, that would be great great great. 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 So great. these recipes have been yeah. passed down for four, four or five generations, generations yeah. here now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to capture this some kind yeah. of way. And th it's yeah. a legacy. Yeah. yeah. I have a little bit on it on the um in one of the stories at um St. Paul. Almanac. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Family Tradition. Oh, and I and I share um, okay. a story about me and my daughter getting uh -huh. a, a mixer from, from my grandmother at the age of ten and wow. I did a um a turtle cheesecake recipe. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. See, we, I, that's amazing, really. Yeah, we, we yeah, we do the food uh -huh. thing and oh um Thanksgiving I have a, a auntie, she had she passed about a um two years ago. Uh -huh. And she um she lived to be ninety one, but we would have uh, for Thanksgiving after we cook, my, and we'll all go over to her house, uh -huh. and she'll have about eighteen or twenty one different meat, all the vegetables, fifteen twenty cakes, wow. the rolls just melt in your mouth. I mean they just 
you wouldn't even have to chew. I mean, we used to bring back. I'm telling you, and and, and so I learned around her too. You know, we always had that that food connection, and we always now nobody is looking hungry around us. I'm telling you, because that, that, that's one thing my grandma said. You know, I didn't have a lot. You know, but if I had beans. The whole block had been. And where'd here. you grow up again? Chicago. You grew up in Chicago? Yeah. Where in Chicago? I grew up in Inglewood and the Wild Wild Hunters. 119th okay. in Harvard, wow, 71st okay. in Emerald, and 66th wow. in Honors. And so where was your grandmother from? She grew 70, up in Chicago? Too? She no, she um she she was born in, in Kentucky. Oh, okay. And then she went to Indianapolis, then Anderson, then Chicago. Now she's in Blaine. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. And you started to say she was on seventy something? Seventy first and Emerald. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. She was there for forty years? Damn, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, forty years. Yeah, I learned a lot. Okay. And part of what drove me into bacon was my aunt Carrie. Okay. who lived on uh, 77th and Wabash. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I used to get shipped away to Chicago every summer. Oh, okay. While all the kids I grew up with going to their grandmama's farms and stuff, I'd end up in South Side Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> with my grandparents and stuff, but hanging out with Aunt Carrie, and we still have her uh, sponge cake recipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. We still got my little auntie biscuit recipe, um, dinner roll recipe. Uh -huh. And my grandmother, she took, um, um, you know, the photo album, uh -huh. and she cut her recipes out and put them in a the photo album. Wow. So we have those. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, you need to copy that and yeah. preserve that. So that's one of the things, like, she she would always tell us. She was never one of the people, and I'm not that, like that either. Like. What you gonna die with the recipe for? Now nobody else can eat good. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. Exactly. So she always shared the recipes and stuff because I always tell the story. I never tasted the store bought egg now until I was like twenty something. I never knew what that stuff is disgusting. I never knew what that was. My grandmother always made homemade egg nine. We yeah. for Christmas we always had homemade egg nine and gumbo. She always made gumbo. I mean, with all the, the, the crabs and just wow. everything in the gumbo, yeah. So is your grandma still cooking then? Yes, she is. Okay. Yes, she is. Now, you know, now that my daughter is doing it and I'm doing it, and uh -huh. so she'll say, she'll still do like a 7-Up pound cake or do her little um, cheesecakes and stuff like that, but she'll, or do, you know, the homemade cranberry sauce or the, you know, or the um, eggnog and stuff, but she'll say, I'm not cooking. Uh -huh. So she'll do a couple things, but she won't cook, cook. She and don't so have to do it no more. If you had to count all the recipes that you know, that you have in your head, that you have in your family, how big would this cookbook be? How many recipes? You could do a section on on, on breads, on, on baked goods, on meat, on vegetables. Salad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Woo! I would say I probably got about... A good thousand in my uh -huh. head cooking around for different yeah. things, like yeah, for desserts and uh -huh. and for um, cause you know I bake too, I bake as yeah. well. But um, yeah, for desserts, pizzas, like uh, French bread, I know French bread pizzas and uh -huh. just yeah, some of everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's something. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I mean, and see, that's just a little bit. I know. That's a little bit. That, a this is 